Many students have a general idea of what major they want to pursue in college by the time they graduate from high school. Colleges are sure to offer a wide selection of academic programs in a variety of subjects including science, literature, technology, mathematics, and more. But do students actually know what courses are offered for each major? Do they properly know what courses are available at the college? We randomly interviewed a few Yonsei students on campus, asking them about the classes they are taking this semester and what takeaways they gained in the courses so far. Okay, so what was your last class? Business negotiation. Okay, so what do you learn in business negotiation? For example, like last class we did one with like, there's a firm that bought cars from Honda and the cars from Honda were like faulty. So like we were trying to negotiate like a settlement price for like the cars because we believe that we kind of got ripped off. And so that's kind of how they go. And like you just like discuss with like your classmates. Like, we think we deserve this much because you guys, we bought like 160 cars and like 51 of them stopped working and like, you're just kind of going back and forth and like practicing like negotiating. 일단 오늘 듣는 수업은 그 커뮤니케이션 대학원의 영상 분석과 비평이라는 수업이고요. 프랑스 학자들이 그동안에 있었던 고전적인 영화부터 상업 영화까지 관련된 분석과 비평들을 가지고 수업을 다루고 있습니다. Okay, so what was your last class? 저는 지금 허대식 교수님의 생산 운영 관리라는 과목을 듣고 있어요. Okay, so can you explain the class? What is it about? And what do you learn? 어, 예를 들어 제조업으로 치면은 생산 과정이 있는데 이게 공장을 어떻게 돌릴 것이고 얼마만큼 생산할 것이고 그리고 그러한 공장에는 어떠한 프로세스가 적합한지를 연구하는 과목이라고 할수 있을 것 같아요. 학술적으로 접근한다면은 예를 들어 뭐 음식점에 갈때왜 저렇게 하지? 라는 생각을 많이 해봤던 사람들이 들으면 좋을 것 같아요. 저는 맥도날드 같은 데갈때왜 저기 뒤에서 이렇게 열심히 일하고 있지? 뒤에서 무슨 일을 하고 있지? 그걸 되게 생각을 많이 했었는데 수업에서 그런 예시를 하나하나 짚고 나가면서 배운 거를 적용시켜 보는 시간을 갖거든요. 그런 거에 호기심이 많은 친구들, 뭐그 의문을 가지고 있는 친구들이 들으면 정말 좋을 것 같은 수업이에요. Okay, so what was your last class? So I just had organizational behavior. Okay, so could you explain organizational behavior? So organizational behavior is basically you learn about the hierarchy of the organization. So you learn about how people at the top kind of deal with people at the bottom, what it takes to motivate their employees or deal with employee concerns or basically to help the efficiency of the business and gain more customers, gain more profit. So personally, my future career goal is to be someone in public relations or be a marketer. So learning about organizational behavior and doing case studies to learn how would I handle this certain issue if I was head of marketing team or in public relations and I have to deal with the company and any sort of public issue. That class is very helpful for me because we do a lot of role playing in class and a lot of mini assignments. <laughs> Okay, so Okay, Okay, so what was your last class? So Megan and I just came out of Lost in Translation. And mine was uh, English for Humanities. Okay, so what do you learn in the class? So our class, we are currently studying a few movies from Bong Joon-ho, the director. And so now we're analyzing the movie Okja. We were talking about some of the significances behind the movie and it was very interesting because we got to learn about the movie in a deeper way. Yeah. So yeah, overall we like we study each of the Bong Joon-ho films and we're gonna later do Parasite, maybe Mother and the Host. So we talk about symbolism and like translations between Korean and English. 
being aware of the d different cultures and how it can change certain subtitles or how different people from different countries interpret movies, especially because these are Korean films. So we kind of get to talk about that and have a deeper understanding. For me, it seems similar to what Boa said, but I also think it's fun to look into these movies deeply. Sometimes when I watch movies, I don't think too much about it. In this class, we see all the small things can have a huge difference. Uh, so I definitely feel like I learn a lot more. Yeah. In my class with Professor Izunga, we learn how to give speeches, do your presentation confidently, and it mostly focuses on improving your English. So each class we watch TED Talks or try to reenact some TV series. And today we did Modern Family. It was really fun. Uh, the last s u e s Cinema System. Mm. 네, 신호 시스템이라는 과목은 어떤 과목이냐면 우리가 보통 신호 처리를 하, 함에 있어서 예를 들어서 저희가 이제 휴대폰으로 전화를 한다고 하면은 휴대폰으로 신호가 오고 가는 거를 저희가 어떤 방송국에서 그 신호를 받아가지고 이 신호를 어떻게 변형하는지에 대해서 그런 것들을 배우는 수업입니다. 그래서 신호 변형을 어떻게 하는지에 대해서 배우고 있습니다. 뭐 세상의 것들을 좀 이해하는 데도 도움이 될것 같아요. 예를 들어서 지금 이슈 중에서 트위치 화질 이제 720p 그런 이슈가 있잖아요. 그게 어떻게 보면은 ISP, 그 인터넷 제공자, 서비스 제공자가 저희 나라에서는 통신사들과 그리고 이제 구글 이 둘의 갈등을 다루고 있는 건데 이거를 만약에 신호 시스템 과목이나 제가 방금 들었던 뭐 통신 네트워크 과목이라는 것도 아침에 들어서 봤는데 그두 개를 듣다 보면은 이제 인터넷 공격자 간의 이 이해 관계 같은 거를 좀더잘 이해할 수 있고 그리고 망 같은 것도 아 누가 이 망이 왜 강한 것인가 아니면은 왜 구글이 지금 이렇게 강한 것이고 한국이 하는 행동은 어떤 지금 국제 관계에서 어떤 영향을 미치는 것인가 이런 거에 대한 이해를 할수 있기 때문에 이런 공대 수업을 들으면서 약간 사회 현상에 대한 좀더 깊은 이해를 할수 있어서 좋은 것 같습니다. So what was your last class? My last class was about English Bible and Literature class. So we learned about the Bible in the literature lens and it was about how King James translated the Bible in his version. And I think it was re really interesting because I personally am a Christian and even though I'm a Christian, I was able to listen to a diverse perspective of different students because they came from different backgrounds. Well, we go through Topics. the chapters of mm. Bible and we just studied John and Acts and about how Paul was one of the uh, representative of non-Christians because he was a non-Christian but became a Christian mm. through witnessing Jesus and through the experience that he had. So even though Bible itself was hard, it can be seen in different lens and we can also apply it to current day today.